So here, as you can see, we have the starboard command base. And this is the European version of the box, which is slightly different to the American version of the box. And I picked this up from eBay, not knowing whether or not it was going to be um, a complete version of the kit. And as it turned out, it wasn't. However, I also had this. And this little collection of bits and pieces of the same set came from Germany in a German box. And through a sheer stroke of luck on my part, I have ended up with all the pieces I think that I need to put together an entire Starboard Command base formed from a British auction and a German auction for the same thing, which is crazy. Um, but it means that 40 years on, 40 years after this first came out in 1979, I now have a chance to uh, actually sort of put one together and it's been really cleverly done. Um, very clear instructions. I've also got a, uh, an instruction manual there, as you can see. A few pieces seem to have been pre-made originally, but the rest is just folded cardboard, which is ingenious because if you knock it over, you can't smash it. And yet you can pack it all the way into a, one of sort of MB Games standard boxes, which is very, very clever. Um, great sort of space saving technique, but they've gone to a lot of effort with it because as you can probably see, there's a lot of detail. The the imagery on it is really, really impressive. It's not sort of, it's not cheap and nasty at all. Someone's put a lot of thought into this. And the other really fascinating thing about this is that the box itself, the outer box, is actually part and parcel of the base. So if you look at this image, on the back of the box. Can you see between these two support struts, there is actually something else. And the something else is this box. Because on this, the top of this box here, I noticed it as soon as I got it out from the, the top level of the box, there's loads and loads of detailing there and text. And I just thought that can't be throwaway, surely, because that's a lot of effort to go to rather than just having a blank box. And as it turned out, of course, it's actually um, part of the, the toy itself, which is a very, very clever, simple, creative idea on their part. And it means nothing, virtually nothing of the, the material goes to waste at all. So you can see here, it's really, really straightforward. It tells you fasten control tower here, interceptor landing deck area. So it's telling you exactly where to put stuff, even if you don't have the actual instructions. This is the a ramp section, which I, I've seen is often damaged in the um, in some of the other auctions that I've followed, but it seems pretty minty in my version, touch wood. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little dirty, but it's actually not bad at all. And this is the area where the, um, the space avenger would, would actually sit. So that's so it's actually got a sort of defined landing zone for the um, the space avenger toy when it's when it's on it. And as you can see, various support struts here, various little clever um, sort of turning um, fixtures. So you just sort of turn them a half turn, and then they'll lock the various cardboard structures in place. I've got a crane there, which picks up the little buggy that's in that box. And I've got laser guns over in that box to go on the roof, um, but without which I would not have had a full set. So it's, I've been incredibly lucky to get all this um, between the two sets. Um, I've got the, the support for the ramp there, which I didn't have in the other box. And I've also got this section here, which is a, a large cardboard insert that goes into this section to form more of a three-dimensional sort of um, tunnel through it. And you can see I've, it's, it's useful that I've got this, um, this box for reference because it just means I can refer to it and the back of the other box. Now, one thing that I have noticed, which is something something somewhat sort of quirky if you look at the back of this box the back has orange laser guns you can see them on the corner and it has an orange crane as well now neither of my cranes or laser guns here are orange although i have actually seen an auction with an orange laser gun which puzzled me now if you then look at the front of this box 
it has a white crane and white lasers. And that is what I have in my boxes here. And what puzzles me is that although that's an, an English language front box, this is a sort of a multilingual back of the box, which suggests that it was an English box because it's got starboard command base in, in English at the top of it, and yet it's got different colours. So I do wonder whether or not maybe some other versions of it, maybe the maybe the um, the US version of it had orange guns for some reason but it's um it's a curious one that i don't know why and there are other things inverted as well so for example initially i thought this was the wrong part because it was white but in fact it is the right part it just happens to be in white whereas on the front of the box in fact it is consistently orange both there and there so it's a very curious mashup of of different color schemes and different schemes of, of of, of colours on the actual box parts as well. So I'm not really sure what was going on with that, but um, that's how it's come. So I even have some spares as a result of my two auctions, um, which I shouldn't need. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll auction off the spares, I don't know. Um, but all in all, I'm, I'm really quite chuffed with it and I'm gonna put it together off camera, I think, because that'll just be easier rather than me trying to find camera angles for what I'm doing and doing it one handed. So um, these are the little white figures. And again, another difference, you can see they're orange figures in on both boxes, but, but these are the, are the, the little chaps um, that I've actually got, which I'm assuming are the correct ones. Although the figures on the, the figures on the boxes, and you see that again, that's another small difference. It's very, very odd. I don't know how this has happened, but can you see that these guys have completely sort of folded in arms, which is like the figure I just showed you. Whereas these guys have all got their one outstretched arm. So it's like someone couldn't quite make their mind up and they took pictures at different times in the development of the toy or something. I'm not really sure what the what's happened there, but um, you can see there that this was... This was put together clearly at a time when the only the electronic starboard was was out because I, I can tell just from the picture and obviously from the from the year of release as well that the the avenger wouldn't have been out yet so that's the um the electronic starboard with the slightly gray interceptors on the wings but it's they really thought it through so you've got you've got places to um to land the interceptors there you've got a, a place for the um the starboard itself to land. You've got a crane that can lift up this little buggy and, and take it up. Men to help defend the place. And um, it's just very, very clever. And it's just really, really impressive. And, you know, Milton Bradley were obviously, you know, they were, they're well known for doing board games as well as the odd bit of sort of, um, you know, sort of out and out toy can, um, manufacture. And you can see why they did well and why the starboard was did well enough that they thought they could bring out the Space Avenger as well because they're just very very clever and there's that little bit more to them than you might anticipate so I'm going to stop here and try and get on and actually build it and then I will show you it built and I will um, show you it with a, a starboard on it cheers for now It's probably been a very, 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 very long time since a starbird sat on his command base, but there she is. Crane complete, lasers complete, passageway complete. Not a bad landing, but you say so myself. A bit rusty. And, um,. The other really neat thing about this is that they thought about pretty much everything going. Slot one of those off, and they can slot in there. In fact, I suspect I have to cut an, an opening in there. I, I thought they were open, but obviously not. I have to re look into that, but basically that's where an interceptor would land. That's the idea. I've even accidentally put the right numbered interceptor onto the right landing pad, so there you go. 
We'll just kill the Avenger off, and then I'll show you the crane. This one always fakes me out. I never quite get it all the way off before it. Okay, I might shut it up. It'll probably burst back into life in a second. And there's also this rather cool crane here. And the crane locks onto the little buggy there and it properly winches. He says, and up she comes. And that, considering I'm doing this one handed, that's doing pretty well. And the little white part on top just to, to completely detaches, it doesn't seem to actually attach, it just sort of sits there, but it's doing remarkably well. Considering that's nearly all the way to the top and I haven't dropped it yet. So there you go. If I were brave, I'd let it go, but it's still a little, um, it will whiz down by itself if I, if I let it. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And so I think the, the picture on the box was taken from this sort of angle. And that was it. So that is the entire Starbird command base right there. And, you know, considering how they managed to do it, and it's just all cardboard, basically. It's so clever. It's just so clever. You could have hours of fun with that. And obviously, it would you know, you could land any given spaceship on there if you wanted to. No problem at all. So, yeah. Fair play, Milton Bradley. Fair play. So I hope you, really hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it was nice putting it all back together again. And I guess I'm probably going to have to dismantle it again very, very carefully and put it back in a box because I'm not sure I can leave this on the kitchen, on the uh, dining room table for terribly long. But uh, any questions, leave them in the comments and um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers for now.